If you try to yank a leech off, most likely you'll rip out his body but leave behind his teeth and hooks embedded in your skin. If you try to burn the leech, well, that trauma will likely cause the leech to regurgitate his stomach contents back into your wound, meaning you just increased your risk of infection. Same reason why you shouldn't salt a leech. For minor leech bites, some doctors generally recommend that you slide a fingernail, credit card, or flat object under the leech's mouth to gently break its suction. But of course, you should always consult a healthcare professional. Leeches have three jaws and 300 teeth. So blood-sucking leeches, they have a triangular mouth with three razor-sharp jaws, and each jaw has a hundred saw-like teeth. And each jaw will move back and forth in a sawing motion. And since the three jaws cut at different angles, they create a Y-shaped wound. That Y-shape is advantageous because it exposes more capillaries so it can get out more blood from you, but also it prevents your body from clotting quickly. After reattaching a severed finger, a doctor might attach a medicinal leech. And the purpose is, after surgery, blood can pool in certain areas and block circulation, but the leech can help draw out excessive blood and prevent dangerous swelling. But also, the leech's saliva contains an anticoagulant that helps keep the blood flowing, which helps prevent tissue death. Subscribe.